I love neon. This is something I love to, to chat about. The creative minds at the Englewood Art Center want these bright lights to shine again. Neon signs are their focus. It's an art form whose popularity faded in the 1950s when too many people associated them with sketchy places. There's this just neat glow to it um, that you may not get with LED. Teresa Dorch is the center's director of arts, which sits in an area of independence that used to have neon everywhere. Artists say it's also one of the few metro neighborhoods zoned for neons, even in the modern era. Dorch is also an artist, and her colleagues plan to work on the nearby Ben Franklin Five and Dime sign next. Next. They're also hopeful to restore the Englewood Theater sign next door. It's uh, very welcoming. It gives you a warm, fuzzy feeling. I, I don't know if a sign could be cozy, but a neon sign a lot of the times feels cozy. Dorsch says her staff was also included in a national symposium on neon, signifying this Independence neighborhood as one of the driving forces in restoring those gas-fueled tubes. They're also hopeful local owners of old neons will reach out. It becomes a almost a memorial of, of a group of signs that draw people in. Inglewood Art Center director Michael Baxley envisions a neon alley lining his building side and rear with neon and repurposing the space as a small performing arts venue. But more than a photo op, now it starts uh, strikes conversations up about, oh, do you remember the old barber shop? Do you remember the old pharmacy? And now it's a conversation between you and I. Art Center staff members aren't sure how many neons will go into the alley just yet. However, they're hopeful it will be a draw to this celebrated section of independence. As for the neon signs they currently have, those can be seen at Third Friday Art Walks, the next of which is coming next week. Sean McDowell, Fox 4, working for you.